hello guys welcome back to my channel on this video i'll be sharing with you how you can be able to resolve the license issues in any adobe product so without further ado let's dive into this video on the 20th of december 2023 medium.com actually created an article online that says that adobe has actually created an initiative against non-genuine software when non-genuine software is detected, Adobe issues warning to the users informing them that their software isn't genuine and may pose risks to their work and system security. Reading further into this article, it says that Adobe has actually launched an initiative to identify non-genuine software. This initiative primarily focuses on detecting pirated version of popular Adobe products like Photoshop, Illustrator, and acrobat to be precise so guys the sole aim of adobe here is to detect those who are making use of the pirated copy or the cracked version of the adobe product without genuine license to be precise so they were able to do this through access on your firewall or on your pc so this mostly occurs whenever you access the internet on that particular pc when working okay i'm actually working with the application and all of a sudden this actually came up and over here you can see that the internet connectivity on my pc is actually enabled and this actually comes up so in order for me to work with this product now i can't actually work with this it can't enable me to access any of the tools over here and the only way i can actually exit this product now is either i click on the shop offer here or i hit ctrl shift and escape on the keyboard and it will bring up the tax manager over here on the tax manager i'll select the adobe photoshop product okay right click and click on the end tab so we we'll have to minimize this tax manager and next you'll be thinking of how do you go about resolving this issue okay you can resolve this issue by hitting the window key on your keyboard and search for windows security using the search panel and click on windows security over here on windows security we'll make use of the firewall and network protection so we we'll have to click on this to be precise and after we have done with this we we'll have to scroll down and head over to advanced settings so click on advanced settings over here so over here on the advanced security we'll be looking at the inbound rules and the outbound rules to be precise so i'll have to select the inbound rule first and head over to where i have new rules so you click on new rules and this panel actually comes up select the program and click on next so over here it is requesting of you to paste in the program path file location so i'll hit window key and look and type in photoshop or you can actually right click on the photoshop if you have yours on your on yours over here you slide over to more and head over to open file location so this prompt actually comes up you scroll down to where you have the photoshop application right click and head over to open file location again on this end again so over here it has actually brought you to where the photoshop application is actually installed all i have to do is to left click over here okay so highlight hit ctrl c to copy this okay minimize and head over to this part here and paste in the file part and click on the next button so after you are done you click on block the connection you click on block the connection head over to next okay make sure these three options are actually checked head over to next and you can choose to call this photoshop give it the name called photoshop to be precise and after your door you click on finish that is for the inbound rule so i'll head over to the advanced settings in the security here and we are actually done with the inbound rule okay we are actually done with the inbound rule you can see that photoshop is actually disabled under the inbound rule so in the outbound rule i'll select the outbound rule create a new rule i'm also applying the same technique the same steps over here so program is selected head over to next over here you paste in the, the same file path over here click on next make sure the block uh, block the connection is actually selected click on next make sure this tree is actually checked click on next and you can call this 
Photoshop as well okay so after you are done you click on finish so after you are done with this all you have to do is to close the window defender or the window security over here and head over to where you have your adobe program so i would like to launch the adobe program to see if this error keeps on persisting please take note that the wi-fi connection or the internet connection is still enabled so i'll slide over to where i have the adobe and enable it so i have to wait a little while for it to actually load up okay here is the photoshop so i would like to open a file here in the photoshop application So let me open the Martin Lawrence design that I was actually creating. So this was the design I was actually working on. Let me see if uh, the prompt will actually come up. Let's wait a little while and see if it will actually come up again. And I'm still connected to the internet connection here. Okay, let's wait a little. So guys, we have waited for a little while to see if the prompt will actually come up and we have been online waiting for a little while to see if it will come up, okay? I'm still connected to the, to the internet and you can see the time so far that this has, hasn't actually come up. But if it actually still comes up, you can go ahead to head over to your antivirus, okay? If you have an antivirus on your PC, you can actually uh, do some little modification in terms of the settings by restricting it from affecting your photoshop that is if you have an antivirus but if you apply these two techniques and the problem still persists i will advise you to turn off the system that is to restart the system and turn off the photoshop again to see if the error is still actually there so ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of this video if you find this video helpful do well to smash the like button do well to smash the like button guys so that youtube can actually suggest this content to others who are actually in need of solution to this problem on the youtube search engine do well to smash the like button guys if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed please what are you waiting for do well to smash the subscribe button Smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always watching. Please and please, if you have any questions or comments, do well to leave your questions and comments in the comment section. And see you in the next.